can do, nutritionally speaking, okay, on a hormonal level, when we're suffering with anxiety, right, our happiness hormones usually aren't present, right? Otherwise, we'll be happy, right? We'll be calm. You know, oxytocin is our loving, calming hormone. Serotonin is our happiness hormone. Dopamine is our confidence hormone, right? When we're anxiety, or when we're when we're anxious and stressed, testosterone is uh, is uh, suppressed. Okay, so we might want to have a look at something like GABA, which is GABA is a neurotransmitter, which is which helps to to promote serotonin, which is our, our happiness hormone, okay? Uh, it also helps to, it's, it's kind of a precursor to testosterone as well. It's not the exact precursor because testosterone is your, your confidence hormone associated with dopamine as well. So I'd be having a look at things like even taking a GABA supplement, um, but otherwise omega-3 would be really good at just reducing all inflammation inside your life. Uh, Angel, and for anyone else who's, who's suffering with emotional trauma or emotional heartbreak and just you feel like you've got the weight on your shoulders, omega-3 is fantastic at, at getting rid of that weight, right? It's an anti-inflammatory. Stress is a buildup of inflammation, right? Or can be a buildup of inflammation or we store that stress. You know, like when we're stressed out, it's like we get tension headaches. When we're stressed out, and that's why you get a massage. It's like, oh my God, because I wear my stress here. You know, we're walking around like that. So we hold our stress. Um, so omega-3 is going to help to relax all of that and, and get rid of our body. We've got magnesium as well from a lot of green leafy foods. Uh, you Obviously, you can supplement with that as well. Um, earthing, right? Here. I walk around barefoot every single day. I know these, these are just the little things that can go a real long way. Now, Jess, we're going to be talking about sleep for you in a moment as well, but... You know, how the power of earthing is so, so incredibly powerful, right? It's so underestimated that, you know, we are, we need to earth, we need to ground, right? We build up all of these negative charges. We're made of protons and neutrons and electrons, right? And just like lightning has all of this negative ions and build up, it comes crashing down to earth. We too need to get rid of these negative charges inside our body. And the way that we do that is connecting with Earth. So just have a think about it. Those 13 beautiful people like you on this call right now, when was the last time that you actually deeply connected with Earth? You know, if you think about it, you know, you wake up and then you put your shoes on and then you travel to, to work. Maybe you work in an office building on the 10th story. You've got all of the Wi-Fi and the radio signals running through our body. That is a constant buildup of negative ions. You've got your phone. Right? If you guys, we have it in our pockets right next to our testes. That's why it's a big case of infertility in males these days. Uh, otherwise, for women, you've got it in your handbag, near your ovaries, in your stomach for gut and digestion issues. Uh, but again, you're getting this Wi-Fi. It's a, it's, a, it's a modem. And it's just connected to your body all day. Then you're in an office building or you're in an apartment block, right? And so you've got not only your Wi-Fi router, you've got your phone, you've got your iPad, you've got your computer, plus your Wi-Fi modem, all admitting things within a 10 meter radius to you. But you're in an office block. You've got the, the, uh, the office above, below, to the side, all everyone else's Wi-Fi devices as well. And so we have all of these negative charges getting uh, admitted through us every single day. Then we leave work, right? We commute home, then we uh, take off our shoes. You're walking around on carpet. You know, have you ever had a static electricity after walking around on carpet, right? It's again, it's a build up of all of this electronic, uh, electronic uh, um, uh, negative charges, right? Uh, and then you go to sleep, right? And we sleep on a foam mattress, again, off the earth's surface. Now, if you're in a co uh, an apartment complex, if you're on, even if you've got a two story building, Right, two-story house. Again, you're even further away from the Earth's magnetic floor. So just have to think about it. When was the last time that you actually touched Mother Nature? Right? How, I want to propose this question to you. How good do we sleep at a day after a day at the beach? You know, sand and the ocean is Mother's natural earth, right? And you're walking around and you sand, your, your feet are on the sand all day or for an hour or for however long you're at the beach. And you get home, it's just like, oh, man, I need a nap just from chilling at the beach. Because it was probably the first time in the whole entire week that you actually spent quality time touching earth. So earthing is another great way for you to release all of that stress. Uh, so if you haven't done that,
When was the last time that you got out and you spent 20 minutes grounding yourself without socks, without shoes, bare feet, on grass, on dirt, on sand, wherever it may be? Let us know. It could be a day. That's great. Uh, could be a week. Could be a month for some people. The other thing I just mentioned is uh, gut, right? Our gut-brain connection. When we're, whenever we're talking about anxiety and stress and just controlling our emotions, our gut is our second brain. Out of the 50 hormones inside the body, guess how many hormones are inside the gut? 20, right? Serotonin, our happiness hormone, 90% of it is inside the gut. So you're uh, avoiding the most common inflammatory foods, your glutens, your soys, your dairies, your prescription medication, your antibiotics, your alcohols, uh, limiting your caffeine. All right, caffeine's going to get you stimulated, right? It's gonna raise your brain waves into a beta frequency. Okay, it elevates cortisol, our stress hormone. Okay, so you're gonna be a little bit more on edge than usual. So maybe some probiotics, if you're already doing a lot of good things, some bone broth. So in dealing with just emotional anxiety and emotional stress, it's not just gonna be one magic bullet for you. It's going to be a combination of all of these things.